Hello, cherry lovers, or good afternoon. And well, back up here on the farm, out here in the garden. Uh, keep seeing you guys down south, talking about being in the 90s and everything. 49 right now. It's we had a frost last night, uh, so I had to come out and get what was left in the garden because that's pretty much it for this year in the garden. Let me turn you around and show you what's going on. Of course out here, like I said, everything's bolting. And uh, we're gonna try and get some seeds off the broccoli. We still have flowers on our squash. Uh, we got some little ones on here and possibly even in another month, like this little bugger right here, we still might get some butternut squash because I keep reading and they say in cooler temperatures up here where we're at, you can continue to get butternut squash. So we're hoping, <laughs> we're really hoping because that would give us some good ones. Now for the zucchini, eh, they're pretty much done. We got a few little ones left and I'm gonna pick them, but they're still flowering too. So I don't know. If we got another month, we'll probably get some peppers. We got little bitty peppers on here. I think they got saved by the light frost. Lots of flowers. If you take and look down here, you can probably see the little peppers. They're everywhere. If we can get three more weeks, three, just three, of halfway decent weather, upper 50s and 60s, well, we'll get peppers. Joyce's Greens, they do excellent in the in the fall here so i've already picked them and as you can see there's plenty more <laughs> so she'll have more greens her kale's still doing good uh we transplanted some beets that we they were too thick well if you look keep looking down that row yep <laughs> and we left some more carrots down here to thicken up by themselves and they're doing they're getting thicker so along with the rest of the beets so we might still get beets but what i am amazed about is the green beans some of them are too thick and woody but there is some in there I've, uh, tomorrow i think i'm going to come out here and try and pick the thinnest ones as you can see right there they're still and they're still flowering so possibly we can get more, uh, maybe a few more beans. I don't know. I don't like them when they're big and woody, but there's definitely like this one here. I don't know how big that thing is. Nah, I don't want to eat something that thick. Of course, it's my fault for not picking it when it was tender, but there is some little tender ones in this and they're flowering yet. So, but you can see how the leaves, you see the leaves, how they've curled? Yeah, the frost has hit them. But as you can also see, there's tons of flowers in here. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll get beans clear into November. I'm hoping. But that's what's going on out here. I'll go over here and tell, show you the harvest that I did get out of here. Because all these tomatoes you see laying around, uh, they've got holes in them. My, my famous chipmunk, he's been out here and chewed holes. It's like he eats part of them and then he's done. But those are all, that's what those are, all. And I picked a bunch of green ones to put in the window because I know that, you know, you can do that. But like I said, if we get about three more weeks, folks, three more, we'll have, yeah, we'll have them right there. <laughs> so anyways, here's our harvest. Yep, I got a bushel, a bushel of tomatoes. Uh, that bag there is a whole great big bag of greens. And like I said, that's pretty much what's going on for this year. So not very warm out here. Uh, not gonna put any water lines away or anything like that. We got another, another couple weeks anyway. So I'm gonna, like I said, everything out here ain't gonna be long. The apples will be losing their leaves, all that kind of stuff. Now let me take you up and show you inside the high tunnel because the the cherry trees now they're doing a little different they're they're starting to lose their leaves 
Okay, now we're into high tunnel number one. And as you can see, underneath these, yep, the leaves are starting to fall. It's, they're starting to go dormant and getting ready for next year. And uh, like I said, they've grown a lot and uh, very pleased with what's going on and can't be happier with what's going on inside this high tunnel. The other one, there's lots of growth too, but doesn't look like high tunnel number one because they got the brunt of the damage from two years ago's freeze in April. So, but other than that, we're looking good up through here. Like I said, we're, everything's getting ready to go into fall mode and into winter mode. So it's just a matter of everything's starting to go to sleep. Like I told you in the last video that I put out and uh, hope you guys like Joyce's video. She, those three she did, she thought you guys would like that. So she put them out and uh, you know, she, she does her best and she's doing a really good job on her videos. So, and I think she's got another one coming, but let me turn this back around. What's gonna happen here, uh, the next time you see me in a video, other than Joyce's cooking videos, we're gonna take you guys on a fall tour, color tour. Right now, if you look over my shoulder, it hasn't started yet uh, because it has been fairly mild, but it's coming. And uh, now that we got that frost, yeah, you bet you we're gonna we're, you're gonna see uh, you're gonna see the trees change real quick. That's what happens up here. They do change. So, wow! After working in that garden, I worked up a sweat. But you definitely can't wear shorts, t-shirts, and stuff like that anymore. It's time to put on the warm gear up here. So, I just thought I'd stop by and show you guys what's going on. Not much. Uh, the kids are out fishing. He, he just uh, sent me a picture, I'll probably put it on here, of him catching a, I would say that's probably a 12, 13 inch perch. I'm going to put that on here. I'm going to show you at the end the pictures of, uh, I caught a 16 inch bass. Uh, Dewana caught two walleye, and uh, we're going to see about, we're going to see, and put them at the end and show you guys. That's pretty much it as we, uh, you know, break it down. In the background, you probably, let me turn it around. In the background, you hear the pump going. I got another, I got another two weeks, and then that's got to come out. Can't let it freeze, let the water go back, put everything away there. I've got, uh, like I said, then those trees will go dormant. But uh, right now they still need a little bit of liquid on, their, on them roots. So, like I said, we're coming down to the wire and uh, we're, we're just, like I said, every year, this is the time of the year, everything falls and goes to sleep. I definitely, turn around, <laughs> definitely got to get that wood. That's also on the color tour. We're going to cut wood and get that, me and Joyce going to get that wood stacked up for winter. Believe it or not, people, this house right now is got the furnace on because I have no wood. <laughs> so, yep. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Pretty much done rambling. I'm going to sit here a minute and rest before I go out and get the vegetables and bring them up to the house. But, yep, winter's here. Or not winter, but fall. Winter's around the corner. And I got definitely got to get prepared. So, if you guys like the video, hit a thumbs up. Hit like and subscribe. I'd love to have you guys back here at Heaven's Gates Cherry Farm. Keep watching. Joyce is going to put out more videos this fall. Different cooking videos that she thinks you guys might enjoy. And, of course... I'm going to give you a little spoiler alert. Uh, at the end of the month, we're heading for warmer climate. But stay tuned to see where we're going. All right, now, you guys have a good one. Hit that like and subscribe, and I'm out of here. i got to go and get all this done bef before it rains, because it's sure looking like it. Talk to you later. Bye now.